how he lived in Cameroon. That is the thing which attracted me to look at, at these people, the great, greatest people, because the Muslim is very honest in Cameroon. Mashallah, that's that's fantastic to hear. And you know, they're living they're living by Islam. They're living in a way a Muslim should be living. And it's beautiful to hear that it's attracted you, yes. be they taxi drivers or shoemakers. Um, right. So, so do tell us, like at the moment, where are most of the Muslims in Cameroon? Are they in the capital city or where are they? Where uh, in capital city Yaoundé, in the capital, uh, in the political capital of Cameroon. We have a Muslim. We can meet Muslim to many uh, headquarters. But according to the national uh, uh, national agency of the statistic, a Muslim was were uh, localized to three division and one sub division in the west region, and the three division are in the Adamawa. We can meet. Uh, mu, uh, Muslim in the town we call Gaoundere Tibati or when we go above in the fan, in, in the north division Garwa, the town like Garwa and uh, Rebuba when we go up to the far north region we get many villages many villages I cannot uh, uh, call village by village or town by town but that this those three region those three division is the uh, division where the Muslim is is a majority then after the three now we go down to the west region we have one sub division uh, we call it noon a the town is the Fumban this is the three divisions and the one sub subdivision where the Muslim in Cameroon is a majority okay. about Yaoundé, a okay. capital, a political capital. Okay, wow, sounds fantastic. Uh, what, Mr. Christopher, what we're going to do is we're going to show a quick VT, a small video to show our viewers exactly what it's like for the Muslims in Cameroon, inshallah. So let's take a look at that video, inshallah. Cameroon is a beautiful and captivating country in West Central Africa. It is also a charming and tropical land made of white sand beaches, thick rainforests, magnificent mountains, and endless landscapes of the most spectacular wildlife that this fascinating country has to offer. From its busy cities, such as Yaoundé and Douala, to its most remote villages, Cameroon is a vast ethnic and linguistic jigsaw and indeed each major ethnic group of the country has developed its own culture. The vigorous rhythms played on the drums by the people of the southern forest region thus contrast with the mystic traditions of the northern people of Cameroon. Nearly two-fifths of the population is Roman Catholic and more than a quarter is Protestants. Muslims comprise roughly 31% or 7.1 million of the total population of 26 million inhabitants. Approximately 27% of Muslims in Cameroon identify themselves as semi-Muslims. The Islamization of the region began in the 17th century with the settlement of the nomadic Muslim Fulani people in the northern parts of what is now Cameroon. The Fulani people are in origin nomadic farmers who range from Senegal to Cameroon and the ethnic group has the largest nomadic pastoral community in the world. Today there are mosques and madrasas in all large urban centers of Cameroon while trying on the one hand to raise religious awareness among Muslims, Islamic educational institutions also function as places where non-Muslims can get acquainted with Islam. Thanks to these efforts, the number of Muslims in the country is increasing by the day. 
and Islam is indeed leaving a long life legacy in Cameroon. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed seeing that. Uh, what, what a beautiful country, first of all, mashallah, is Cameroon. Um, and it's nice to see you know, so much going on. It seems that the integration is very good. But can you tell us a little bit more how the uh, Muslim minority and, and the rest of you know, Cameroon population, how they are with their friendships and relationships? We hear that you have made some good friends. But what, what about the majority? How are they treating each other? Uh, concerning a relation between the Muslim and the other and the majority part of the population, the relation is very good in many sides, economic, cultural, religion, and another. The relation is very, very hard, very good. But some, uh, some facts, some situation can occur which can oppose Muslim with the another. Let me uh, take a, a tell, a tell you a, a short story. In Cameroon, in that years of 2014, 2015, and 2016, when in here in Douala, some people uh, look another uh, a physical uh, appearance with the scribe. He called it Boko Haram or Silica because in that period, in this period, the Cameroon, uh, uh, the National Army of Cameroon were engaged to the border in the far north with a fight against Boko Haram in the East Division, which fight with, uh, against the sect of Silica, which the bot was a Muslim. Now, Apart this situation, the relation uh, between the Muslim and the other and the majority of people of Cameroon is very, very good. That's great to hear. That's great to hear. Um, you know, subhanAllah, there's always going to be some negative and there's always going to be some people that do not like to be kind and patient with one another. But subhanAllah, we can only try our best, right? Um, I'd like to know as well more about um, the community that you filmed the documentary with um, and what they spoke to you about and maybe what you saw. Um, how, did they, um, how did they behave and how did they spend their time during Ramadan and also how did they celebrate Eid? Uh, this year, special, uh, this year is very, very uh, spe uh, uh, special. Because uh, the world uh, suffer so uh, at COVID-19, the Ramadan was very, very the different. The Muslim celebrate it each in family. It's not go to the mosque, it's not go to the another public place to uh, to pray or to uh, to give to the neighbor the count or uh, another present. To, to, uh, to celebrate together the feast of Ramadan. Uh, the, uh, the previous years, the previous years, Ramadan is a most, most, uh, is a most uh, feast of Muslim income because it's in law, uh, it, it identifies Ramadan uh, like a public a legal religion day. And this day here is a public holidays. Best uh, the population don't have to go to the work, do uh, don't do anything. They stay at home. But this year, with 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 the context with uh, COVID nineteen, uh, COVID nineteen, okay. it's not possible. The Muslim state uh, stay at home. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's the same all over the world. Subhanallah. Well, listen, Mr. Christoph, it's been a great joy to speak to you. May Allah bless you for your efforts, inshallah, and uh, may Allah guide us all to the straight path. We'll speak to you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Mashallah. Sir. What a fantastic brother. Uh, we hope you uh, learned a lot and enjoyed that part of the show. But now we are off for a quick break.